What's going on everybody? If you're seeing this page, that means the official Torn Your Rain Reloaded merch store is now available. To get access to the store, make sure you go ahead and click the store tab on my YouTube channel. From there, you will be able to see all the merch that is available. We have mugs, shirts, hoodies, joggers, and so much more to come. All original designs made by yours truly, Torn Your Rain Reloaded. Now go ahead and get your merch today and you can feel nothing in style. This has never been a Democratic or Republican idea. These are not Democrat ideas or Republican ideas. This is an American idea. These are fundamentally American ideals. Imagine they were driving a car and, and they, they drove it into the ditch. If somebody has repeatedly crashed your car, you can't have the keys back. Do you want to turn <laughs> over the keys to the same people who crashed it? You said Russia in the 1980s or now calling to ask for their foreign policy back. I have a newsflash. The USSR does not exist anymore. You know, the Cold War has been over for 20 years. It fell back in 1990. A skinny guy with a funny name. Who the heck is this skinny guy with a funny last name? But they sense deep in their bones. I believe deep in my bones. E pluribus unum. Out of many, many, one. We are one people. I have a dream that we can be one people again. Before I get into this video, let me just give this disclaimer. This is not in any way in support of Barack Obama. I will say that again. This video is in no way in support of Barack Obama. I have to put that out, out there because some people will take it and run with it. I'm giving y'all the disclaimer right now. This is just an observation video. That's all it is. And also, you know, an opportunity to call out ramen noodles whenever we can and this is a perfect opportunity to do so especially since we've already concluded the second rnc debate now with that being said one of my followers on instagram actually sent me this video from another instagram account and shout out to that instagram account that actually sent it to me what i'll probably do is i'll leave the link to the actual video that i got this from you can read the comments for yourself of what the people had to say now, we know that there is a history where certain politicians tend to like to copy other people for whatever reason it may be. But for some reason, when it comes to ramen noodles, he loves to copy Obama a lot. Now, the first time we actually got wind of him copying Obama was during the first RNC debate when Chris Christie had called him out on in, on the stage. He called him Chat GPT, which I thought was the funniest thing at the time. And then after that debate, people scrambled to see what he was referring to, and they ended up finding it. And it was the clip that y'all heard in there towards the end where he was talking about who was the skinny kid with the funny last name. That part right there. But what I did not know is, looking at this comp video that you just saw, there were so many more instances where he was copying things that Barack Obama has said in the past in his political speeches. It's always one thing if you want to garner inspiration from a certain particular person, but you also need to cite your sources as well. Like he could have said, according to the 44th, the 45th, 44th president of the United States, Barack Obama, he said so on and so forth. But we know ramen noodles isn't going to say that because that means he would have to actually give credit. But the thing of the matter is, is that you have people like ramen noodles who thinks that we are so dumb and we're so politically inept that we will not go and do our own digging and our own research to see if we can find any kind of discrepancies in anything that he says and call him out on it. And not just even with what y'all just saw here, but stuff about his business practices, him uh, not voting as are as a traditional regular election until what was it 2020? At the age of 34, then 34, plus some other things about his dad not being an American citizen, but he wants to overturn birthright citizenship. His mother not taking the citizenship test until after he was born and a host of other things. He doesn't think that we're not going to go and do our research on this individual and call him out on it. And then when he gets called out on it, that goofy grin that he loves to always put on display seems to turn into a frown. And he always finds a way to get pissed or try to finds a way to flip it on to other people. Now, my question is this. A lot of ramen noodle supporters tend to probably have the mindset of not liking Obama. It is what it is for whatever reason. It is. It's whatever. 
But my question to them is, should they answer it? What do y'all have to say about your candidate, the person that you're supporting, who is literally going around saying the exact same things that a person you claim not to like has been saying or has said years ago? That's what I'd like to know. What do y'all have to say as it pertains to that? Because a lot of them don't like Obama for whatever reason it is. It is what it is. We have our reasons. They have theirs. But y'all are championing behind a man who is literally plagiarizing this man that y'all claim not to like. And none of you, and I mean absolutely none of you, are calling it out. And we know why you're not. Because y'all love when ramen noodles gets up there and talks crap about black people specifically black americans and that's all y'all can focus on y'all not going to focus on anything else and like i said good thing people are finding this out and calling this man out for what it is and putting it on display he's another one of those people that can't stand the heat when it's pushed against him he's another one of those people who would rather be in an echo chamber why do you think when he goes and talks to these individuals of the pc kind to talk about us it's only them in the room and there's not another black person in there i can't think of a time where ramen noodle has been in an area where it was a bunch of black people and has said the same stuff to a group of black people that he has said to a group of white people as it pertains to us i can't think of one uh, some people are going to mention about him going to chicago and going to that barber shop that's not the setting i'm talking about Don't try to play dumb with that one. Don't insult my intelligence. Y'all know exactly what type of setting I am referring to. But back to the topic at hand, this guy bar for bar has been copying Obama's talking points or speeches and throwing them in there when asked certain questions. And giving the same type of response or just throwing things out there. You even saw in the last clip where they put they put two of them together and they said the same exact things, like literally right in sync. The same exact responses. This also reminds me, of course, you know, with Melania Trump and how she copied what Michelle Obama had said a few years prior. If y'all remember that speech that she gave, it was like the same exact speech. And when people called her out on it, you had the Trump fans and the Trump stance come in and run deflection on that. They didn't want to admit that this woman was copying this other woman's speech. A a person that they claim not to like for whatever reason, it is what it is, but you're okay with her copying. Y'all say, well, people copy people all the time. And this and the third, Not like that. You can grab inspiration or little pieces here and there, but you also got to cite your sources. Goes back to, again, what I've always talked about when I was in college, when I was a senior. We had to do a senior paper, and we had to cite our sources. We had to cite our sources in the paper as well as have a whole cite page at the end of the paper itself of where those sources came from so they could see if those sources were legit or not, or not just legit, but to make sure that they came from reliable places and not just out of some blog or whatever the case may be not some op-ed something that they clearly do not do and of course with ramen noodles he's going to take it and run with it like this was his own original thought it's like we live in the age of the internet where stuff is so easily accessible this is not 30 years ago where he probably could have gotten away with this um because the internet wasn't like it is now but Because we have it right at our fingertips, we can easily find it. And now that people have seen this, and know that this is is not just a one-off, people are going to be checking to see everything that he says whenever he gives a speech to see if he pulled from Obama, but not even just from Obama, but from anywhere else. This just proves to me also this dude does not have, in my opinion, a single solitary original thought in his head. If this is what it's come to, y'all just looked at a one minute, a damn near one minute video of him copying damn near word for word of various speeches that Obama has done over the course of a a few years in his political career, probably before and after he became president. And this guy's running for president. 
And that's all he's been doing so far. And if he ain't copying that, he's out there, of course, doing the usual song and dance of how anti-black he is. Very interesting how you have a group of people that are so anti-black, but they can't for one day stop talking about us or mimicking us or copying us in some capacity. That to me is like a huge form of a form of insanity to me it should be diagnosed with something it probably is i just don't know what is what the actual medical term of it's called maybe one of y'all can tell me down in the chat or in the comment section